everybody should be at full health. Perfect. And then, you know, let's do let's do it a little easier. Let's just fight one of those ladies. Little John's not opposed to just <laughs> Little John don't care. When uh, when Daddy Robin says kill, he kills. You know, he doesn't ask questions. <laughs> uh, we're level yeah, 12 relations there. Let's see if we can do this noble extortion. I'm kind of curious to see how much money it gives. Oh, uh, wait, what did it say? We have to go to... Oh, that's a diff that was different. That was forced tribute. So noble extortion is different. We got to go give the locals a lesson. This is a different quest. I messed up on that. Uh, we need to go up to Svenren. So let's head up there. Not too fast so we don't get captured by these marauding Sturgeons. Svenren. I don't know which one we're supposed to talk to. So let's just talk. A friend of yours sent me here to remind you of an, uh, an agreement that you decided not to respect. Blah, blah, blah. Give me the money back. So we've got a couple options here. We could receive 1191 dinars. We give relations with the, the village leader, but then we lose relations with the uh, the crime lord. Obviously, that's not a good idea. We can take a little more dinars, lose relations with the village. Let's see, plus four with the gang leader and plus five criminal rating. Don't really care about criminal rating, but the plus four with the gang leader is huge. Uh, we could also take even more and get 10 Glintor ponies. Relations with the notable minus three plus four still only plus four, but then plus ten criminal rating So it's a it's a difference between five criminal rating a little bit of dinars But also ten ponies which is gonna sell for a ton of money. So we might want to actually do the the ponies I don't care about relations with the village. Yeah, let's do that. We got two roguery and nine tactics Wow, it actually gives tactics. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see what our ponies look like 400 each that's that's a lot that might be a little uh little overpowered <laughs> um let's go sell some stuff we're gonna be overburdened here we've got hurting penalty so we actually might need to just give give these guys up oh you know what we also need to have yeah we got to find a mule for, for will scarlet let's actually go back the town we go to might not have a mule i'd rather just get it now so we got that and we can have four pack animals now so let's do yeah we've got sumter horse yeah let's let's do that and let's keep going Okay, that's not good. This guy's zooming in on us. And he does have more movement speed, so we're going to have to sacrifice a few. Alright, we just barely... Yeah, we can outrun him now, at least. Alright, we, we had to give up a little bit of money for that, but not, not that big of a deal. Oh, we can do, we can do a, a quest right now, because it is a gang leader. I think we'll save that for later. Needs weapons is going to be a, a, kind of a tough one for us. Let's get rid of the rest of our ponies. Ooh, 600 each. That's huge. Yeah, that, that seems a little seems a little imbalanced. For, uh, what was it, 10 criminal rating? It is a lot of criminal rating, though. No, maybe it's not balanced. It's not imbalanced. It's just a lot of criminal rating. We'll have to let things cool down here for a bit. We'll probably try and uh, take up a quest somewhere else then. Let's, let's maybe go to one of the other towns. We've got enough money we can afford to recruit more companions, and that'll, that'll really give us more options. Let's see. So David of Doncaster is here. That's... That's a good pickup as well. So this guy's got pretty expensive, but that's fine. We got money for it now. I guess it's not a bad thing that we had all that cash. Let's see what you can ride. So David of Doncaster actually already has a Sumter horse. We need to give him a mule. <laughs> You're stuck on a mule, my friend. Now let's get rid of these old workhorses and just keep the same. Can we get more Sumter? So for Sumter, we're short one. That's fine. We don't really need it right now anyways. I like to keep all of one type of pack animal. And same thing with the horses when I'm using it for our uh, foot troops. So let's see what else we need. We we can pick up some food. We can kind of spread out the different food types here. Let's just pick up two of each since we've got the cash. This will help us at least start getting some XP on our, our uh, stewardship. So we need two more different food types to get the max. I think that's a good start. And like I said, we have plenty of money right now. We're not a whole lot to spend it on since we can only really buy food and transportation. But what I was saying, David of Doncaster has got some two-handed polearm and athletics. He's a, he's a pretty burly gentleman. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of, uh, a lot of traits. Not bad. So again, for the two-handed, we'll give handling. And primarily, I think... Hmm, that's a good question, actually. Shoot. I think the two-handed mace and axe are going to be good for the late game, but the two-handed sword is good early game. So it's kind of a tough, tough choice. We could always switch perks, though. We could switch perks later. Let's go two-handed sword for now. You know the drill here, and you know the drill here. So that's easy. Yeah, the crew is coming together quickly, man. I, I thought this was going to take longer than that. So we got five beastly gentlemen. 
that we badly need to get good armor for, because having an exposed head like that is not a good idea. It's pretty easy to get killed. But at least we can take bigger fights now. Five troops. Uh, I think we can probably try and find one more, and then we'll be in good shape. Yeah, let's head south to Penkanok and see what's going on there. Maybe they've got some stuff for us. There is a tournament, so that's kind of nice. And hopefully there's somebody we can hire. No, nobody here. And one of the cool things, we can't use it this time because we're not using minor clan faction stuff, but we could hire minor faction troops if we really wanted to from uh, from Fubri. So that's kind of cool. And the, the minor faction troops are really strong now. We'll see later when we get into scraps with them, but for now, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. So let's do the tournament. And Highland Gloves again, that's fine. We just picked up somebody, so we do have a need. Most likely, they don't have any gloves, so... We'll just play the distraction game while these guys clean up. That's fine. Yeah, clean them up. Clean them up. Easy peasy. We'll make a little bit of money from this as well. We got the archer this time, so we'll just go straight in. Oh, we got a big hit there. Not a problem. We made it. Oh, one hit or quitter. Yeah. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get these gloves on our uh, David of Donecaster here. Yeah, he doesn't have any gloves, so that'll be good. Would love to get him something to cover the head, even if it's not much. Yeah, we could do some more quests, but I don't think it's a good idea right now. We, we probably need to save it because we we're already at 20, what was it, 22 criminal rating. If we go too high, they'll kick us out and not let us back in until it comes back down. So, And if we go even higher, <laughs> then they declare war on us, which we really don't want. That would be pretty bad. All right, another tournament. You know the drill. I'll probably just edit this out. Not too bad. So again, we're really mostly doing this for a little bit of money and, and some renown. The betting is not going to be all that great, but they're, I, yeah, I think I think it's tied to how much armor you have, and we still have starting gear. So maybe if we take some some higher higher tier gear stuff, we'll we'll start fighting stronger opponents. But I think for now we'll just we'll take advantage of it. Yeah, some slight upgrades here for some of our people. Will Scarlet still didn't have any hand covering, so he's good now. Okay, yeah, these guys are looking pretty damn sexy. <laughs> Little John with his gigantic chainmail shirt that's insane uh we're here let's pick up some fish and what else are we missing date fruit no we have that yeah no olives so we'll pick up that so we're missing one more grapes yeah we're missing grapes so now we got everything we got all food groups so we should be getting some pretty good steward skill from that and this is a pretty easy pick we're, we're really not using uh actually shoot it's it's not so clear cut and dry now now that i think about it our our party is mostly on horseback and then we fight dismounted so that's a problem how do they how do they qualify these guys though let me see what it says so if we go to the main main map it says we got one one cav for infantry actually that's a good thing so these guys all have horses but they're still counting as infantry so that perk would probably still be used let's let's test it out yeah i'm gonna save here just in case this perk doesn't work i guess we could reset it but i, I don't really feel like paying for it just in case the game decides to do it differently so we're at my uh 6.3 forest movement seed minus 1.49 so let's do forest kin and see what it does yeah, it doesn't look like it does anything unfortunately even though it says that they are not mounted it says they're infantry let's go ahead and take the horses off and just see what it does if that fixes it I mean, if that's the case, it's really not a big deal. We'll just take the other perk for the desert movement speed. Yeah, even with our main character, it doesn't work. So let's just reload. Yeah, and normally I would edit something like that out, but I kept it in just in case uh, somebody wants to do the same playthrough. You at least kind of know a few things to, to avoid so you don't waste your time. So unfortunately, Force Kin's not going to work for us. Desert Born will help when we go to the Asteroid Lands, though. Yeah, a little bit more movement speed. You get a minus 0.5 for being there. 5% is probably a 0.1, so I mean, it helps just a tiny bit. Really not a big deal. Let's go ahead and cap out our athletics. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And then we got to figure out what we're going to do after that. 
And ideally, let, let's go back up there one more time before before we head out to a big mission. Let's go ahead and do one more relation getting here. So relations at 16, that's not bad. We'll, we'll actually be in pretty good shape. Now, we do have a mission we could help her with, too. Rival gang moving in at Sanon. Let's go see what she needs with that. So, got a problem with Scabby, scabby Skank. I mean, Scabby Sea Lag. Uh, no problem, we'll help you. And we'll fight the gang ourselves. We'll help out. How much time do you need, though? Eight days. So, we gotta hang out for eight days. And in the meantime, let's do the pickpocket, just so you guys can see what that is. Piece of cake. And we want to wait till it's daytime to do that. Just because there's more people available. So let's go back into town. All right, so essentially what we want to do is go around to people. I don't think you can do it to shop workers. No, nope, you can't. Just regular peasants and village folk you can. So you, you basically just run around. Find where people are at. You bump into them and take their stuff. It's like this one. There's a, uh, a pickpocket option. So we get nine dinars. Not really anything to write home about. But we do get a little bit of roguery for doing it as well. Oh, wow. Two in a row. So we did pretty good. Three in a row. Wow, we're on a roll. Four in a row. <laughs> Usually it takes me forever to do this one. There we go. So that guy caught us. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll lose... Uh, you'll gain some criminal rating when you fail it. Whoops. Alright, there we go. One more to do. There we go. We did it. That was actually pretty fast. 204 dinars plus the uh, roughly 60 or so we got from pickpocketing. So about 260 dinars. Again, it's not, not anything that's going to help you survive, you know, in the long term, but it'll do you do you some good. So seven days. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, four days. So there's four days and then a, a delay of maybe three days where we can start it. So let's just wait a little bit. Let's go see. I was going to say we can go fight some bandits, but let's not even take a chance. I don't want everybody to be at full strength. What we can do is do a second quest for her. Yeah, see, it's already refreshed, so. Criminal rating's 15, so it's gone down some. Let's just do the bar fight. We'll get another two there. Really not a big deal. All right, Friar Tuck and Little John's here, so hopefully both of these guys can... Yeah, cut his head off, man. Oh! <laughs> Dang, look at that. You got knocked up. Beep, out. Wow, he got slammed. So, 21 relationships. Not, not too bad. Let's wait a little bit longer. Here it is, this time. So now we can meet her. And get ready for this big battle. The big old scrap in the streets. Alright, so we could opt to take the money and back down. Or we can keep our word. We want to raise relations more than we need money. So let's make sure we don't back down. Alright. Oh, let's not get killed here. Let's go for this guy way in the back. Oh. He, like, juked it. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Oh, they got stomped. Hopefully nobody died on our end. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, we had some looters fighting here. That was interesting. I thought they looked like looters, but I thought maybe the Duray military took them out. So, nobody died. Will Scarlet got a kill. We didn't even get a kill. Wow, it's all looter versus looter. <laughs> uh, we get some relations here. Hopefully it's a big one, because that'll, that'll break down the time that we need to farm by quite a bit. 770 dinars, that's not a bad mission. 27, wow. And then the scabby skank Silag is uh, going downhill, but we don't really care what she thinks. It's it's the first one in the list that matters. Once we get to gang trial, which is 40 relations, we can choose to try and duel her and we can take over the, the whole town. So Now we don't need money, so I don't know that we need, need to do any of these, to be honest. We could try it, but if, if we do it, we might lose more not lose more, we might gain more criminal rating, which we don't really need at the moment. So it's probably not worth the risk. Right, now we did come across Alan and Dale, so fortunately we can take him. The only thing with this guy that's a little different, he does have charm. Because, so Alan and Dale was the minstrel uh, for Robin. So obviously he'd be very charming with his little lute and playing, uh, you know, songs for him. We don't really have a whole lot of use for charm. So we're, we're kind of role playing this one. We've got nine social, tons of charm. Um, should we help him get pregnant? No, that's not going to help. <laughs> Actually, none of these are going to help us anyway, so let's just pick whatever. And again, same thing here. Maybe Warlord might help if we have him lead his own party at some point, if we can do that. No, we can't though, because we can't put companions into an army. <laughs> he would literally be by himself. That's funny. Uh, yeah, so I don't think it really matters which one we do here. 
So whatever. And then same thing with athletics and same thing with one handed. So, but anyways, now we got somebody that can serenade us when we're in our camp on a long journey. He'll keep us entertained. And as far as gear, he's probably got nothing good. Yeah, we do need to find him a mule and another sumter horse. Now we can top up on sumter horses. We got room for six. Yeah, so six total. Now what I did forget to check civilian gear. So some of these guys did have sumter horses in their civilian gear, which we don't really need. So let's just get rid of this, get rid of everything. And we're good on food. Maybe what we'll do is maybe we should buy maybe three of each because we are going on a bit of a journey and we do have Friar Tuck with us. He'll probably chew through all the beer, eat all the dates, maybe pair it with some nice meat, some charcuterie with the cheese. Who knows? Who knows what he's going to do? But let's figure out where we're going next. I think we got to go take a look at Vlandia. We need to see our arch nemesis. This is going to be very important. At least in the later stages of the game it will be. But for now, we'll at least scout it out. Let's head to the edge of town. We'll figure it out. Ah, uh, here we go. Allery, who's in there with you? Eric, Prince John. Okay, so here's Prince John. Prince John is the son of the king, the Richard of Lionheart. He is our mortal enemy. Not number one, but he is definitely somebody we don't want to get captured by. And Prince John is his son. So this dude's got some pretty good skills and he is part of Landia. So we probably want to stay with, away from him, especially that many troops, obviously. <laughs> but it's nice that we got to see him in the flesh, at least. And then we do have to deal with the Sheriff of Nottingham. So Unthree is chasing us down, no problem. So our mission here is we need to break into Ostikan. We need to fight one of the gang leaders there in the alleyway. And then we need to come back home and deliver whatever loot they had. So we got to bring that back. That's our that's our main mission here. So let's let's try and sneak in. We got to be real careful here because the the Vlandians, as you know, they're a bunch of horsey boys, and we don't really want to mess with that too much. Now we could take this fight. I don't think they're chasing us. Yeah. So they think this is a pretty even fight as it is. Let's see what they have. Bunch of shield troops. So this could be a tough one, or it could be good for. Okay. No, they want to fight. <laughs> Looks like uh, some Irish, you Irish bastard. Let's go show him what's what. All right, we'll get off our horse, dismount. dismount everybody, and let's get him uphill. So move. 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 All right, they're coming close, actually. So we try and get a few shots off before we get pelted by... Oh, yeah, this is actually not a good thing. Um, let's move people back here a little bit. Well, it's a lot. Oh, that is a lot. All right, we don't have a choice here. We gotta have to go in. If we can, if we can narrow it down a little bit early. All right, let's get this guy out quick. All right, let's get some flanks in here. Hopefully, we don't lose anybody. Oh man, we're blocking. We're blocking. We're trying. As hard as I can, man. Hard as I can. Don't lose anybody. Leave our guy alone. Oh, somebody went down. I don't know who it was. Oh, look at Big John. <laughs> Our little John. He's big, but he's little John. Yeah, he got that chain mount. Oh. Is he on his period? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, well, you know, there's no judgment here, man. If you were something else before, that's fine. All right, so we did lose two, actually. We lost Will Scarlet and David of Doncaster, but they survived. They'll just be injured. And we got, unfortunately, no bow skill here because, obviously, we missed all the shots. And it looks like some people did gain some levels. So David of Doncaster doesn't have one-handed skill, so we might need to fix that at some point. A couple prisoners here and three renown. Yeah, we'll gladly sell them later. Ooh, Little John actually took a lot of hits, so he's going to be out for a little while until he heals up. But that'll be that'll be good XP for Friar Tuck since he's got the Surgeon. And, ooh, nice. All right, our first shield. Very, very nice. Finally, we got a, sh <laughs> Finally, we got a shield. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then we had, we have some throwing skill, uh, I thought. Did we, or did we not do that yet? Uh, that's fine. Let's and we did get a level up on John from that. So let's figure out where we're gonna put it. So we don't have, anything on the throwing i guess we could probably do throwing i don't really want to do bow or crossbow i think throwing probably makes the most sense there we could also do two-handed he could just be a savage to um 
you know, melee combatant, which which also might make sense. I don't know. I think maybe throwing makes sense first because it's going to take him a while to level these up too. So I think maybe throwing. We don't really have anything to give him anyways. We gave what we had to Friar Tuck because Friar Tuck's the one that's got a little bit of throwing now. So let's give him the javelins. I'd rather keep our shield free from dropping his shield, you know? So let's do that. And let's see what kind of upgrades we got here. So a little bit of upgrades. Yeah, not too big. Sweet, but we survived. Nobody died. And we got two prisoners. We get a little bit of money from that. Uh, let's go down here and do a little bit of scamming while we're out. Might as well. Yeah, criminal rating of Landia is basically nothing. We, we want to have as high as we can because we hate these guys. Now, which one is the Sheriff of Nottingham? So he is the horseshoe. So that's it. This is him. So <laughs> we're stealing from the Sheriff of Nottingham. Yeah, that's right. We took all your stuff. What else does he own? Are you poor? You only own one land, one piece of land? Are you poor? Yeah, he's poor. I don't feel bad that I took stuff from him, though. He's a slimy, slimy man. So I don't feel bad scamming him. Let's keep heading north. We want to probably save up these guys. Hopefully we don't take too much more damage. And maybe they'll be fully, fully healed by the time we get up north. You never know, because we, well, we will need them for the, the bandit fighting in the cities. The gang, sit, gang fights, I mean. Alright, we're not having too much luck here. Let's try this one. Yeah, they're catching us a lot. Nobody's falling for our scams anymore. We gotta switch from the Amazon scam to, uh, I don't know. What other scams do they have? I don't know if you, you've ever watched that uh, the guy that does these setup videos on YouTube. He, like, scams the scammers. It's because they're pretty funny. He'll like log into the cameras and watch what they're doing and say what they're wearing and they get all freaked out. It's pretty cool. We don't want to run into that guy. We want to keep scamming people. So we'll avoid, we'll avoid that. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of a, a, a following here. So let's try and avoid getting cornered. This is getting a little scary. Yeah, let's not, let's not do that. Maybe they'll take, maybe we can bait these guys in. Yeah, maybe they'll fight the Sea Raiders instead of us. Oh, that army just broke up, so they're going to be pretty fast. So there is a tournament here, too. And it doesn't look like anybody's guarding the gate. So let's at least just check it out. We've got, I guess, nothing to lose. Let's see what happens. 37% chance. That's that's not very high. <laughs> yeah, we, we got captured, so we got to wait in jail for a little while. But the nice thing is we don't lose anything, and I think it doesn't even take your wages or your food. You just kind of sit there and languish. Yeah, we're not paying for a release. We're just going to be patient and wait. Thousand bucks is a lot. Yeah, eleven hundred is a lot too. We started young on this one, so we got we got time. Seven ten. No, we're still not going to pay you seven hundred bucks. You slimy Vlandians. All right? Is there anybody? No, there's nobody in there. So we could try it again with a thirty-seven percent chance. We do have basically three tries. The expectation value is around one at that point, so we should expect to get captured here again, or maybe get lucky and get in. Oh, we made it. Nice. Okay, so task at hand. We got to find, yeah, the waterfront here. So there's five gang leader, gang bandits there. We got to fight the Mangi Asgerta and take her out. So let's get in there and, and uh, clean them up. Again, it was waterfront, so we need to go to the waterfront. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? <laughs> you sound a little German to me. That's just supposed to be French. All right, so where is Waterfront? Tavern, Waterfront, way down there. So let's head over there. Now we do get a little help here. We got little John with us. So this shouldn't be too bad. Wait, what happened here? Why is he attacking us? Maybe because we're criminals? They just attack you on sight? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, we're getting double teamed. Alright, we don't want to get stabbed here. Let's try and get to some safe spots. Oh, there's another one coming. <laughs> we got a supporter. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you show the man. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really don't know how we're going to fight this many people off. we got to get out. Alright, so I honestly did not know that. 
so we got to just try and figure our way out of here. That guy might engage us. No, he's looking, but he's like, nah, I'm like, I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Wait, did they just stop? Yeah, they went back. I wonder if it's because we pulled our weapon. Maybe they just don't like us pulling our weapon. Yeah, they seem okay with me now. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, note to self, don't pull your weapon out. Well, that was interesting. We almost killed one of the Vlandian guards. Smacked him a couple times. Uh, I don't think we can get in for there. Let's see. Yeah, here they are. Alright, so there's two of them. We gotta try and dispatch one quickly because they do, once they get their weapon out, they're gonna block really, really well, so. Oh, one tap. That's what we needed. That's what we needed to see. There we go. We overwhelmed his defenses. Let me in. All right, we will wait for her because, again, we need to finish this, get some loot, and bring it back to our uh, our lady. Poor little John, though, man. He got he got completely dumped on by that guy. Oh, what? <laughs> lady, you appear to be missing some clothing. Usually I'm the one that does that. I guess, I guess I'm not the only one that runs around naked all the time. <laughs> uh, it's a six on four. This shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's... Uh... Let's play this smart, though. Everyone, forward. All right, we'll take the brunt so we can block a few times. Hopefully, it'll soak up some damage. Oh, we took a hit. We took a big hit. Let's take some of these guys out if we can. Let's take this other guy out. Oh, nice, nice. Good job. Oh, we lost a few people, though. Little John went and stayed up, though. He had no health because he was down, so he would be at 20%. Luckily, nobody died. Everybody survived. I mean, it's always stressful going into these fights because you don't know if, if everybody's going to make it or not. It's going to be a sad day when uh, Will Scarlet or Date of Doncaster leaves us, you know? All right, good renown there. Yeah, there we go. The jewels. That's what she wants. She wants the jewelry. So we'll bring the jewelry back. Let's see if we got any upgrades here for our main Mr. Robin. And we can also... No, let's leave the the leather cap for uh, for little John. He needs all the armor he can get since he's he's the main tank. All right, we can give of, David of Doncaster the Pilgrim's Hood. So now he looks like a gangster. Doesn't look like there's any other upgrades here. So we grab the jewelry. Perfect. So we're good. We just need to get out of here and survive. Oh, that's not good. There's somebody in the town just waiting. They're going to capture us instantly. Right? Oh, they didn't. Wow, they didn't. Yeah, I thought we were hosed there. Uh, let's scam somebody on the way out, just <laughs> just to show that we can. Uh, that we can. Oh, I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did, actually. I, I was kind of nervous about that one. It it's not too bad breaking in. Uh, we're still clint tier zero, so that helps. And then again, once we get Rogri up a bit higher, we should be able to, to sneak in. Uh, we're back on friendly turf. We don't have to worry about things too much here. And there's a tournament. Let's go check it out. I mean, we, we do need to keep upgrading our uh, equipment. Especially if we can get some good chess pieces. I think that's going to be important. Of course we get the Uggs. The Highland Furboot Uggs. <laughs> we don't want any more Uggs, man. But we'll take them. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do the 360 nil scope. I thought it'd be funny, but then I got caught. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I hit him once, but it was a it did eight damage because I was too far off. So it's all good. So we can do some quests here. Need weapons. I don't really want to do that. And then capture bounty hunter. I think we need a full complement before we can do that. So I think we need nine companions total. And then we can probably do uh, what do you call it? The hideout quests. Although we don't want to do too many of those because that will weaken their their faction. So at some point we want to boost their faction strength. Okay, so decisions, decisions. We got an attribute point to spend. I still think it's worth it to do cunning because we're doing two skills in this group. Possibly three if we decide to do tactics, but you know, for now we'll just leave it. But yeah, I think cunning's the way to go. I would love to get roguery up quite a bit higher if we can. And then I think we should probably put some points into two-handed, even though we're not really spending that much time on there. We're almost up to max on our steward, so let's do that. We need to get enough to get to, to level 100. That'll give us the wage reduction. It doesn't seem like our wages are too high now, but you just wait. Once we get people at level 10 and we've got, you know, 40 of them, our wages are going to go through the roof. 
So we got to be pretty careful there. It's uh, two dinars base plus two dinars for every level that they have. So at level 10, they're you're paying. Yeah, so like he's he's level two and he's paying six dinars. But by the time they're level 10, it's like, uh, what is that, 22? So it's it's quite a bit. Let's sell these prisoners. We can't recruit any of them anyways. And we got to talk to this snot nose lady because this is the one that we want to we want to give her. We want to give her her, uh, her jewelry that she requested. Again, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Obviously, it's just something we made up, but we'll just pretend. We can pretend, can't we? All right, let's sell everything here. Balanced Ridged Broadsword. That's going to be an upgrade for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it to Little John since he's he's frontlining. And I think that's an upgrade for some other people too, actually. The Iron Spot that probably will not be. Oh, it's an upgrade there. Yeah, it's pretty dumpy. And then we checked all this already, so we can just sell everything. 2,500, wow. That's a lot. And are we doing okay on food? Yeah, we, we need to get rid of some grain so we're not overburdened there. I think maybe we'll start saving five of each. Let's do five. We've got cargo capacity. Oh, no fish. Yeah, date fruit's going to be the hard one. We might have to go down south to pick up more of that, but that's fine. Yeah, let's take care of that bar fight real quick. This guy's sitting down. That's an easy enough target, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. He had a... He had a farming tool on him, man. That could have been bad. Little John saved our life. 